All right. Hello, everybody. It's me, Jason Thomas, the insect hunter. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you off a new trapping method using one of these. I'll explain to you how to make it and what, what it is, how it works. And then I'm also going to share some announcements with you guys about some new upcoming live videos and some changes that I'm making to the channel. So let's get right into this, folks. All right, so first off, I have a few announcements for you guys. Um, also, well, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the chat. I'm not watching the chat right now, um, but Brian is, and so he will be texting me questions as they come in and through fine. So the purpose and why I made this video is because mainly I wanted to do a live test. As you can see, I'm here in my garage. I'm having to work from home due to the COVID-19 situation. And... Uh, it's pretty, it's a little bit hectic right now trying to work at home. It's a challenge. And all of this test, you know, this is me, the one man show trying to do all this stuff by myself. But luckily I have, I have folks like Brian that are out there helping me out. So anyways, I, I want to do a live test. Um, so this may not be a perfect video, but let me know in the comments how the stream is coming through, if the quality is good and uh, what it looks like. I'm trying to do all this by myself, so please bear with me, but I appreciate you guys jumping on with me. Um, I also am doing this because I wanted to announce some trainings that are coming up, so let me pop those up on the screen. So there are some trainings that are going to be happening that you can tune into um, that will be here on the Insect Hunter YouTube channel, or there's also a Zoom training I'm doing. So today at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's going to be a Zoom that I'm doing for kids on general entomology. I'll be talking about um, how to make pitfall traps, um, what is an insect, and talk a little bit about insects and some of their relatives, other arthropods. So I just want to say that that is meant for kids, and if any of you do join in on that, please make sure you keep all of your comments appropriate. Um, don't disappoint me. I know I have great viewers and great folks that watch my channel. Please don't disappoint me, and be respectful um, if you do join in on that Zoom call, if not, next Thursday, April 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing a live YouTube video, um, and I'm going to call it Our Spiders Evil. So I'll be asking that question. Um, that'll be that one. And then the next week, I'm going to be doing a live video on Black Widow spiders. So that will be very fun, getting my adrenaline going, just thinking about it. There'll be some exciting stuff in those videos and some demonstrations. Uh, but I'm excited to offer those to you guys. So so that's Ark in here. So anyways, um, now I'm going to show you guys this trap and talk a little bit about that. Um, so what this is, is this idea originally came um, from a researcher in Israel. If you look in the description of this video, you'll see a description of uh, kind of where this came from. But anyways, researchers were trying to find insects in trees without destroying trees. So this is um, similar to pitfall traps. This is a way to collect insects without killing plants or destroying other things. So what you do is you basically take some cardboard, maybe we'll switch over to the other camera here, maybe be a little better for us. Basically you're gonna take some cardboard, so I just cut cardboard into strips, and this is corrugated cardboard, which what that means is it's got these tiny little, um, let's see if we can get a good focus here. It's got these tiny little triangular um, shapes basically in here, and those are places where insects can go in and hide and kind of climb around in there. So anyways, that's kind of uh, what you use. Oops, sorry, that probably sounded really loud hitting that microphone. That was nice. <clears throat> so anyways, get cardboard strips, and then you're going to roll them up <clears throat> tightly, and then you're going to tape it. You could staple it or do something else, but basically that's what you do. So you'll take these. You can tie them onto trees. You can go put them in leafy areas. Most of the ones that I put out, I put out in a, in a leafy area um, where there's just old dead leaves and dead plants and stuff. So that's what I did. So now I'm going to actually kind of crack some of these open and see if there's anything in there. And this is all live, so I, I didn't know if this was going to be a dud or not. I might not have found any insects. Out here in Idaho, it's pretty, it's it's still cold at this point. Like right now, I think it's, the high today is supposed to be like 47 or 50. So it's still kind of cold, so we might not have found any insects. But I'm going to crack these open with you guys to see if I find anything and maybe comment on what we find. 
um, amidst these uh, different traps. So I put out about eight of them. I'll go ahead and I'll pull those out. I just pulled those out. Um, let's switch over. Oops, here. So I've got these in here. And I'm going to take them one at a time and I'm going to dump them here into this plate and we'll see if there's any um, insects. I don't know if it matters whether you cut it open or not, but I'm going to try just uh, shaking it to see if there's anything in there. I'm sorry if that is very loud. I'll just go ahead and I'll cut this open. So we'll just cut open the, the tape. Hopefully you all can see this pretty good. I'm just gonna shake it out. And theoretically, there should be some insects that have gotten in there, but there was none in there. So there's our first one, nothing. So we'll see if there's any in the other ones. Again, remember guys, this is a test. I will make another video on how to use these once I'm able to get some insects, if I don't find any this way. Let's go ahead and cut this open. The one insect that the researchers reported, which I totally agree with and believe, uh, that they said you can find commonly in these is earwigs. I do see there is a tiny little spider. It is so almost microscopically small. Um, I'm going to empty them all out, and then if all I've got is really tiny things, then maybe I'll switch out and put on a macro lens so you can see a little bit closer some of these small things. But there is a tiny little spider running around um, right in this area. If you look close, oh, here's a spider right here too, a really tiny little um, spider, It's and they are a little bit messy, so we'll see how this all turns out. I don't know if that makes a difference or, or what. Okay, we got this one opened up. Try to give this a good shake. Trying not to destroy things that fall out, but trying to also shake it enough to knock things out of there. I don't even know if this is necessary. Maybe we don't even need the plate, but at least it kind of keeps them in this area. I'm going to do a little on the table here and see if I can. I would recommend if you are going to do this, maybe not do them quite as long as mine. I did mine probably um, a foot and a half on some of them, and that's just too hard to kind of get, get the stuff out. So I think that's maybe a little bit too long. I like, you know, maybe eight inches or something. I think that's that's the perfect length you want um, for these. If you don't want to use tape, you could use rubber bands. I just didn't have any of that when I made these. And I've had these out for, I think, about a week and a couple days. So nine, ten days I had these out. But it's been quite cold. This is I put these out almost like a garden. Um so in, in response to Hero Figure's question, where did I put them out? I put them just in my yard. So next to a lawn, there's a whole bunch of old dead leaves that I left over the winter as a nice overwintering site for bugs. So that's kind of where I put them, right along my deck in my yard. See what we could find. Okay. We are, I see a columbola. It's hard to see some of these things because they're so small. I'm going to get out my macro lens out of the table and try that. Let's see if I can get a better shot over there. Kentucky Fried Gamers asks, are you looking for anything in particular or just whatever you can get? I'm just looking for whatever I can get. Um, it's likely going to yield earwigs. Um, I'm trying to do some experiments with earwigs with some colleagues. So in the end, I'd like to get lots of earwigs. The researchers, I think, put out like 12 of these traps. And they got over 130 earwigs. Uh, but it could have been my location, and it can also be the temperature. So the environment will make a difference. And then also just um, the, 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 the temperature, obviously. All that's part of the environment. So just putting them in different places. I'm going to try putting some in my house. Usually I have tons of time to be editing all this stuff. Okay, here's a small spider. Let's try and get a good shot of that.
Very small spider. Most likely a juvenile, but it could be older. Oops, got hit by some falling debris. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find in here. There's a Columbola. We'll see if we can get it on the camera. Just so small. There it is. There's the Columbola right there. It's got a really cool stripe pattern. Do you guys see that? That's awesome. So not everything's going to be big, obviously. Right there is about the best focus we can get. I love that stripe pattern. It's really cool looking. See if there's anything else in here. I'm definitely going to have to do this again in the summer. That way then I can find a lot more things. Okay, if there's any other questions, I'll take a couple questions. Other than that, then I'm going to um, then I'm going to maybe show you guys a quick preview of what I'm going to be doing um, in the next couple of weeks live. So, Tarantula dude asks, do you collect live insects, as in to keep them, or do you just deal with dead insects? I I prefer working with live insects. I prefer keeping them alive and being able to have live insects to show to people. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, it's just more enjoyable that way. So um, I, I prefer not having to kill them if I don't have to, but when I'm doing scientific research or having to do a collection for a class, um, then I will kill them if I have to. But I, I like enjoying insects alive. I, I enjoy doing catch and release. So all these guys that I got there under the um, macro lens right now, they're going to all get released. So... It's like that was the only questions we had. So before I take off, guys, I'm going to just show you really quick a little preview of what you guys get to see next week on Thursday if you guys join us for the live stream. So I'm going to hop it off here. Move this over here. So next week when I talk about whether spiders are evil, I will be showing you guys my special friend here. You can find her. Her name came from a YouTube, uh, one of our viewers, and her name is Ghost. She's a Carolina wolf spider, so she'll be joining next week when we talk about whether spiders are evil. Yeah, and put her back. So anyways, guys, I am going to wrap up this episode um, I didn't see any other questions. I'll check that really quick here on my phone. If there's any other questions, I'll take those. Otherwise, I'm going to put those uh, those times of those live streams back on the screen. That way, then you guys can tune in for those. But I appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully the quality was good. Let me know what you uh, thought about it in the comments, and uh, I'll hopefully get to see some of you guys on some of our...